In our last two sessions, we discussed a letter from a woman whose husband verbally attacked her about the phone bill, despite her assertions that all the calls were necessary for their business. I described the importance of never speaking in anger, which always makes things worse. First, I described how mutually destructive the process of anger was, like throwing gas on a fire, and suggested that she quit using her husband's anger as an excuse for her own. Now, back to the writer of the letter. In the absence of anger, there's a lot you can do here. First, listen to him. Really listen. He's trying to tell you that he's afraid, and you need to listen to his concerns. When he says the phone bill is way too high, agree with that part without defending yourself. For example, you could say, sweetie, you're right. $200 per month for a phone bill is pretty scary. So let's talk about what we can do to make it lower. In the moment that you show that you're concerned about him, his fears will decrease considerably. Never forget that the most important goal in any discussion with your husband is that he feel loved. If you forget that, you'll worsen his fears and absolutely guarantee his being defensive, which will make any meaningful discussion pretty much impossible. So once he senses that you care about him, sit down with him and ask him to show you which of the calls he would eliminate. You indicated in your letter that they were all related to your business and therefore necessary. So if that's true, as you go through the calls, he may discover that for himself and then there will be nothing for him to be accusing about. Then you'll be discussing solutions instead of him just making accusations. Those conversations are much more fun. Once your husband feels loved by you, working together on a solution that will benefit both of you is a piece of cake. In the case of the phone bill, you want to minimize the cost. Stay focused on that goal, not on who is right or wrong. Discussions of right and wrong lead only to greater conflict. Keeping in mind what you said about your phone bill, you might say, for example, quote, as I see it, we have three options. First, we can keep our present $69 plan and make fewer business calls, but that would keep our business from growing. Let's see, second, uh, we can keep our present plan and continue to go over the allowable minutes as we did this month when the bill was $200. Or, see, third, we can get a more expensive plan, say the $89 plan, which would have covered the calls that we made this month. So it boils down to paying $89 for a plan that fits our needs or paying $200 for a plan that doesn't. What are your thoughts? End quote. So focus on being loving and on taking action toward a positive goal. Blaming, defending, being right, arguing, and being angry can only hurt your relationship and get in the way of taking the best courses of action. <music>